All right, everybody, it's Sam Taggart with DDD. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. It's fun to see the holidays. So I'm going to start a series of videos. I'm trying to do one every day. And today I thought it would be interesting because over the last week or so, I spent a lot of time with the CEOs of the largest door-to-door -door app connect, um, providers, Spotio, SalesRabbit. Um, I just jammed with somebody uh, called Polis today and a few others that I've really been trying to dive into the technology side of things and how they've leveraged um, the data-driven, you know, results and data from a customer basis on income levels, political parties, and how they've leveraged this data to really provide good intellectual um, content for their their leads and the and the knocking at uh, companies. And what I found is there's a huge, huge um, correlation between all these different sales apps companies and what they're finding is most door-to-door -door companies are quite inefficient they they tend to not want to adapt and so I did a podcast today with Brady Anderson who's the CEO of sales rabbit and it was super enlightening to just see how much adaptation it takes to really scale and grow a business because too often we're just so stuck on okay this is how my business is going to be this is how it's going to work I mapped it on a spreadsheet when I was about to co-create it and all of a sudden I'm going to get that result but what I'm finding is if people are willing to adapt based on the data that the consumer is giving them and based on what the consumers are wanting they're going to thrive and you'd be surprised that our industry is changing constantly and you know, areas, you know, one summer to one summer could be completely different based on, you know, like, for example, I was in Amarillo and, you know, one year the oil was doing great. Two years later, the oil wasn't doing great and the market had totally shifted. It didn't mean I had a bad year. It just I had to change my approach from, hey, there's a ton of people moving in and everybody wants um to, you know, you don't know who your neighbor's going to be, might as well, you know, it's not like you know, it's not the small town it used to be, it's growing so much, you probably should get a system. Where two years later, my pitch was, everybody's moving out, you know, people are losing jobs, you never know who's going to be in your area, you never know what they're going to do when they don't have a job, you're going to need a system. So it was a completely different shift, but had I not been familiar with the area and familiar with the people and familiar with the things surrounding me um, and keeping track of that year over year, I wouldn't have been able to adapt and, and really produce like I did. So it doesn't mean like an area is bad. It just means you need to be willing to take the data, take the consumer's um, common traits and really and, and analyze that to really make good judgment calls on what areas you're picking, what pitch you're going to use, what, you know different styles of um, selling you're going to use because even from one neighborhood to a mile down the street to the next you could have a completely different demographic a completely different um, buying type of person you have a younger demographic you have an older demographic and as a door-to-door -door rep you need to be able to adapt um, to really scale your numbers to what you need them to be because the, the reps that fail in this industry are the ones that can only sell one person if you listen to Jordan Williams um, podcast he's one of the most inspiring door-to-door -door reps that I know um, and that was one of the things he talked about he's like I didn't care what area I'd go to I'd still become one of the top reps and because he just learned how to sell anybody not just selling one type of customer and then being like oh it's an old person oh it's an Asian oh it's a whoever I can't sell them and just like put you know this self-talk and self damaging belief that we a lot of times put ourselves into you know oh I don't sell one-leggers well guess what top reps do sell one-leggers oh I can't sell before five well guess what you need to learn how to adapt and change your behaviors so that you can start getting better results that's really what you need to do and stop and stop making excuses and to be honest like you just make too many excuses so here's my fun little nugget for the day Merry Christmas love y'all